Bang. All right. We are live. Hopefully the audio sounds good. Man, I just want to really be able to see what y'all thoughts are about these new products, man. We got the AC 300. We got the AC 200 Max. We got the EcoFlow Delta Pro. We got the EcoFlow Delta Max, I believe is what it's called. Uh, I just watched a video about that one today. I can't make sense of it all. So hopefully some of y'all who are uh, more enlightened than I am can chime in in the comments and we can all kind of figure it out together. <laughs> we got a couple people in the room. We got Alpha, All in the Soul, Monique, Alien Prepper, Kimber Jack. Hey, Kimber Jack. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for making those videos about those panels, man. They are clutch. When people ask me, I just be like, go talk to Jason. <laughs> I actually, oh, let me get right into it uh, off the top. Uh, Agwe, or whatever they're called, um, they're supposed to be sending me a 100 watt folding panel, which is dope. Uh, I'm happy about that. Happy to test that out to see how it works. Um, the good thing is it's on sale right now. Now, as I noted in the description, I haven't tested it yet, but it's like a $150. It's like $215 with like 30% off on Amazon. You know, you purchase at your own risk. <laughs> but that's a pretty good deal. Buck 50 for a 100 watt folding panel. I was like, man, geez, I got a link in the dip and all that jazz. All right, so Blue Eddy versus EcoFlow. Uh, I was talking with Brother Wayne this morning. Um, he said he was going to come through about the EcoFlow Delta Pro and the Max. And he was like, man, help me out. Which one should I get? And I was like, it's a tough decision. I'm going to tell you something off the top. I am impressed with the EcoFlow because they're always seeming to push things technologically. And I'm an, uh, I'm an IT guy, I'm a techie, I'm into that. Um, Blue Eddy seems to be just like, you know, sturdy, you know what I mean? Like, they're like Jackery, but in the in in our time. <laughs> Jackery's kind of in the past a little bit. They try to come up, but I feel like they slow walk in the features. But Blue Eddy's like, it's like the workhorse, but with the technological innovation, but EcoFlow just takes it one step up. Um, but EcoFlow is usually uh, it costs a, a pretty penny. I couldn't make sense of all those numbers. I think the EcoFlow Pro is like, I don't want to guess. I got tabs open and stuff like that. So we're just going to figure it out. They all cost the big bucks. That's for sure. LUL Lowe's max is only 800 cycles. Hmm. Which one? Because both of them have maxes now. The AC 200 max and then I think the EcoFlow Delta max. I know the EcoFlow Delta max is 800 cycles to 80% because it still uses the NMC um, chemistry. Shout out to Jehu because uh, he did a video on it today that I checked out. He basically said that it's a better version of the EcoFlow Delta. It's just like it's, a, it's better. It's bigger. It's more power. I think it takes in more solar because the EcoFlow Delta, I don't think it takes in that much solar. I watched some old reviews because it's been out for a while um, from, you know, Will and Hobotech, Will Prouse. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. That The Max looks good. It looks good. I, you know, I guess if you if you want to choose between a Delta and a Max, maybe the the max will push the Delta's price down more, but I can't imagine that thing was like a thousand dollars at Costco. So will it go down to that on the regular or will it stay kind of where it's at? I don't know how much it costs. I don't be checking for these big old things. I could tell when Monique's here, Monique, I don't know why I put Monique in there. Mariah, Maria, <laughs> I'm going all over the place. Sorry, MJ. But that little blue icon is a, a dead giveaway. It's very distinct. Blood gaze, what's happening? You retracted your uh, message. I, I trust you. <laughs> hey, Diva. 
we got some new power stations that came out seen the delta pro on silver sip yeah it is impressive man it is impressive he even made a post about it saying like yo this one this one is nice y'all yeah i can't wait to show you the video um But it's going to be it's going to be a pretty penny that I, I want to know, like, did anybody was anybody compelled? Did you feel compelled to, like, mess around with that Kickstarter stuff? Or is it just like, eh, that's Kickstarter stuff is not for me. Diva, do you have a power station? Are you in the market or are you just kind of like checking out the waters? Blue Eddie B230 price is twelve hundred. 48 pounds from what yeah i saw the prices on that i was a little confused the b230 i think is the one you max up with the ac 200 max and then they got the ac 300 and that thing in their imagery the price was weird because they had like the ac 300 and it's uh expansion battery for three grand it's like 28.99 or something like that so i don't know if that's the price for the ac 300 and the battery or if the AC 300 is a, the AC 300 looks smaller. So if I was looking at getting one, which I'm not, but if I was, I don't like these bees swarming around here. If I was, I like the smaller one. Jeez, man, get out of my mix. This is why I love outside from inside. Wayne, what's happening? <laughs> you felt compelled getting a better price than retail i respect that the eco flows i mean the river what's it called the r600 pro people love those devices they had issues with them out the gate i think the alpha models of them were problematic but people who have them love them i, I ain't i ain't heard nobody talk about trying to return it and not being able to get one nobody complains about them ban everything what's happening Man, I don't want nothing to do with these bees. Led be talking about them bees. I'm like, you could keep it. I don't want no honey. <laughs> I don't want no honey at all. Keep all of them. I, I'm trying to get them away from here. I watched a video about killing them. I mean, you don't want to kill the honey bees, but them wasps and them yellow jackets. I call all of them bees. I'm sorry. I know all of them are not bees, but they all bees to me. <laughs> but we can keep, we save the ones we need to save. And then all the rest of them, they could die. They could die a horrible death. I probably shouldn't say that on live because YouTube probably. Yeah, let's just move on. I don't I don't want I don't want no parts of these wasp. <laughs> Silver symbol has a review uh, about this. OK, the Sung Tzu 1000. Any thoughts on that one? That sounds familiar. Um, I've seen Minuteman prep review one or two of those things. I don't know if they look any better. They look, they had a pretty industrial design to them. And I don't know, you know, I don't know. I kind of stay with the main people, but I'm happy that some of these companies reach out to me and are willing to send me some because I know people are usually on Amazon looking for a good deal. And it's hard to pass up some of these deals when you could get, you know, a five or 600 watt hour capable device for like 369 and 379. And that stuff is hard to pass up, so <clears throat> I respect it. You have two eco flows, nice. Wait, which two eco flows? I imagine you mean you have two eco flow deltas, Diva. Bloodgate says I can't do Kickstarter. It's like beta testing. Can't take the risk. Better to wait for production. As we have lots of options now, competition is always good for consumers. That's a good point. The thing about EcoFlow, though, is they discount it so much on the Kickstarter. You almost get that stuff for 50 cents a watt, which is, is crazy. And with a, a company like EcoFlow, you can almost risk it. I mean, they I don't think they've ever put out a bad device. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. <clears throat> And Dina says, I'm almost feeling compelled. I feel that. If you got the coin, yeah, make that jump. <laughs> Alien Prepper says, hit that like button. Hit the like button for the YouTubes. 
ban everything. I used to raise bees and they were very friendly. I was stung only twice in four years. I don't want to get stung once in my whole life. Ban everything. Not once. I got stung one time as a child um, and I'm, I'm good off that. Isn't that crazy that you could be like um, scared of something so small? I wonder how people in Alaska feel about bears. I'd probably be petrified. But I mean, you got that toolie though. What you do to you can't do nothing to bees but smack them. Hate the sting. <laughs> God, remove their stingers, please. <laughs> okay, you got the rivers. I dig it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they bought that action ban. Everything says bee. Yeah, you, you know, they attack the people. Bees attack. That's what they're about. Angela. Hey, Angela said, I got my blue Eddie Power EP. Okay, right. That's a, isn't that thing like the Blue Eddie EP 500 on Kickstarter? I feel like people are still waiting for those, which is unfortunate. But three grand, isn't it like a five kilowatt battery? Wayne says, Sung Zoo, the best unknown brand meets and exceeds all expectations. Not pretty, but just work. Hey, I respect that. I've done Kickstarter on much cheaper devices, but 2K, I don't know. <laughs> I love how you spell that. I dig that 100%. Sung Zoo is okay for a budget friendly device being 1000 watts. How much does it cost? If they send us another stimulus check, I might get the giant power station. I ain't mad at that. Hey, 2%, what's happening? Kevin, what's happening? I got the River Pro and the extra battery based on your heads up. I dig that. AC 200 Max is $1,700, 62 pounds. Oof. Jeez, man, 62 pounds, I guess. Um, remember I said, we talked about the AC200P and I was like, look, I'm not buying that thing. Well, I wasn't gonna buy it anyway, but I wouldn't buy it until I knew what was going on with the AC200 Max. My understanding, the AC200 Max has the RV port, which, you know, uh, you know. And it has a 100 watt PD port now it can take one panel of solar now, which is cool. I was trying to think about what, why would that be beneficial? Why would you want 100 watts? But you could get a 200 watt 12 volt panel and it'll work um, instead of a 24 volt 200 watt panel. So that's that's OK. I dig that. Anthony, what's happening? All right. All right. <laughs> I'm hesitant. Uh, Gary says, I'm hesitant about the Ecofold because they changed the chemistry of the, uh, you know, it's lithium ion. It's, it's good. I mean, 80% of it, it's going to work for as long as you, uh, you I, I respect that. I like LiPo too, but I, you know. Hey, Courtney, what's happening? Kickstarters are nothing but fundraisers to get money that they don't immediately have so that they can start building products. Yeah, as long as you do it well. I mean, people are talking about, um, you know, you, you just put your money on a Kickstarter and then you have to wait forever to get your device. Will, Solo Will, he um, he ordered, he kickstarted uh, Ecofold Delta and they reached out to him and they sent him a free Delta before he got his Kickstarter one. That's Ecoflow. Jeremiah says 799 for a thousand watts. That's not that great. Found it on Black Friday for 600. All right, that, there you go. I respect that. I don't know. Once you start getting into $800 for a thousand watts, dare I say it, you might as well get a Jackery or something similar. I would get the EB150, but you know, I, I can't spend that much money on a interesting brand. I was going to say no name brand. <clears throat> Maybe the price of the AC 200 P will come down. Fingers crossed. I f yeah, I feel that. You need the RV port. If you be out there on the road, MJ. Lipo is the present, brother. <laughs> the Jason said Lipo is the future. Um, way out of my budget. Whatever you saying, Alien Prepper, I agree with that. All of it is out of my budget. Shah Sahavi. Is, am I pronouncing your name right? I do a pretty good job with names. Yep, I saw when that happened to Will, I would be high too. It's kind of disrespectful. I mean, you know, some some relief is that he got one for free, but 
it was it was the same thing silver symbol was mad about because people had bought they they kickstarted or whatever or indiegogo that ac 200 and then some people as soon as they started getting their 200s they came out with the ac 200p man i can't imagine but that's why you have to like really look into this stuff and make sure that you are going to be comfortable with your purchase you have to do your research and make sure that it fits your needs you can't be out here like just buying it because it's cool because if you buy something and you're happy with it if they come out with a new one it's like yeah i mean it would have been cool to have it but you're happy with the one you got but if you're not happy with the one you got then yeah you'd be salty i mean come on let's, let's be real you would be a little salty but you still got to be happy with what you buy and everybody ain't like that i am I just watched an extensive review done by Jehu. Yeah, I saw that one too on the Delta Max. Um, the Delta Max is just like, eh, you know, it's par for the course. It's an, it seems like an upgrade to their Delta, which I couldn't quite wrap my mind around the benefits of the Delta. Every time I look at it, I just find myself feeling like, uh, okay, it charges fast. That's that's cool. And no knock on the Delta. I just I didn't find myself being compelled about it. There, there was some limitations there that I just couldn't get past. Shah Sahavi. There we go. I'm in there like swimwear. My wife just told me what that means. That relates. To, anyway, what do you think of 99 pounds for the that thing is 100 pounds? Are you serious? This is why I wanted to talk to y'all because I couldn't. My brain couldn't process all the information is like. Nobody had a real website. Everybody was like, join a group so you could get the information. And then there's these posts in the Facebook groups. I couldn't make sense of it all, man. It, it's really too early for me to have an opinion on this stuff. I need somebody to like unbox it and tell me the numbers. And really, I mean, the gold standard of reviews is Will Prowse and Hobotech. So the symbols up there too. But um, all those other um, videos, they're not very helpful to me. Um, I don't know. Like somebody talked about Hobotech's video, uh, his AC 200 Max video, and it was basically a spec video. And I appreciated that because I didn't know. I mean, nobody else has done a video about it. But um, the reason why I got into YouTube is to be able to talk about things from a purchasing standpoint, from a usefulness standpoint, from a like a thoughtful kind of standpoint, just like you know, should you buy this? Who's it for? And he does that at the end of his videos, but this video was just like a, a read off kind of sorter. I'm still on this 99 pounds for the new EcoFlow. I saw a silver symbol grab that handle and that handle for the EcoFlow Pro kind of buckled a little bit. And I was like, ooh, that's, that's sketchy. That is sketchy. I have two GoLab 300s with two cheap I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that LT? No, okay. 100 watt panels. Happy with that for now. I dig it. Stop, <laughs> stop saying that things are always out of your budget. Things will change for you. Think positive. I'm a, I'm like a, I hate to sound corny and say I'm a realist, but I'm well aware of like my situation. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm doing okay. I, I feel you though. I feel you. I guess it's, it's like, even if I had the money, um, I don't know that that's what I would spend it on because I have other responsibilities. So I, that's what I mean. Just in the grand scheme of things with like all things considered, like how often my lights go out, um, how much my power costs, what my wife and I are trying to accomplish in the moment. It's just like, uh, yeah, two grand is out of my budget. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's for now. If it changes, then, you know, thank God for that. I really want the EB70. Huh. Why? Why, Monique? The EB70 is all right. It's a good device, but I don't know if I feel like it's really wantable. It has some drawbacks. I want a better EB70. <laughs> like picking a wife. Uh. All right. I got the AC200P and not even thinking about the ac max but that delta pro is compelling it's certainly compelling 
<laughs> this guy wills though rolls around easy but that handle looks suspect man go watch silver symbols video when he pulls that handle out and that bin just was like i don't know i don't know the delta max is 50 pounds goddess leo what's happening hey beats my no brethren what's happening I'd say get a kilowatt meter, measure all of your appliances, energy consumption needs that you plan to keep running during a blackout and pick a generator that can handle that. Yeah, um, that's why I'm, I'm falling short. I'm falling short on my deep freezer. My deep freezer cannot be powered. I'm going to try and make a video about that um, in the next couple of days. What kind of panel? Ban everything says he just got his third 100 watt solar panel today. I'm on them 200 watt panels now. If I bought another panel, I think I'm going to get a 200 watt. But I could be lying, though. I could be lying to myself. That uh, Renergy Eclipse panel is nice. And it was on sale on this site for like 169 That's a lot of coin for a 100 watt panel. Um, but I just wondered like if how light it is, how mobile it is, because I like rigid panels, man. Folding panels are nice. Hopefully this uh, Agwe 100 watt panel kind of educates me on things about folding panels. But um, I don't know. I'm not I'm not quite the folding panel guy. My power went out twice today for two hours. What uh, area are you in, Diva? You East Coast, West Coast, Midwestern. The EP5. Oof, the EP500 weighs about 150 pounds. Are you sure? I feel like that would have made an impression if I heard that. Um, I had to get it after experiencing the Texas freeze and not having power for four days. I dig that. Blue Eddy AC Max 2200 watt solar generator with B230 LiPo modular battery introduction is the best buy. Okay. Why do you feel that way, um, Byron? How much is it going to cost? I think uh, the device itself was 1700 and then the extra batteries, I don't, I think they were like 1100 I did see your deep, well, yeah, I saw your deep freezer specs. I hate that they rate it by the year. That always messes me up because I don't be wanting to do math. Um, <laughs> but I get it because energy is so inexpensive. What they look like telling you it costs a couple cents a month to run. Bloodgate said my power went out last week and my kids cheered. <laughs> it was only out for 10 minutes, though. <laughs> That's kind of like my situation. If my power goes out, it goes out for a few minutes and then it's back on. I, I kind of want to talk to somebody in my uh, my power company to see why my city has such stable energy, it seems. Wow, Bloodgate says the EB500 is 167 pounds. I must have just ignored that detail while watching uh, Jehu and Hobotech talk about it. Hey, caught the live. Welcome, Candace. I'm glad you're here. This time blows by when I be on here hanging out with y'all. Isn't that crazy? But such is life. You're having a good time, the time flies. Folding panels are for temp use. Rigid panels are for 24-7, 365. And that's that's where it's at. I want solar power all the time. I want it all the time. It's bright outside. It's raining. I'll be getting in like 30 watts. If it starts getting a little brighter, I'll get in like 67 watts with my two 100-watt panels in parallel. And I get similar power from my 200-watt um, rich solar panel. I don't... Uh, man, I got <laughs> I got a panel down there in the yard right now that's hooked up to my agua um and if it starts raining i gotta run out there to grab the panel i don't want to get distracted I, I got something to share with y'all that's interesting i don't have no new product or something but i figured out some a workflow in my house that's pretty good check out hobo on it yeah I, I, I follow hobo tech um i watch pretty much all of his power station videos did i miss anything i'm in good old texas without the janky power grid. <laughs> oh, you say with, I, I imagine you mean with our janky power grid. That, that stuff is a mess down there. 
if we move my wife and her mind the only place she thinks is feasible is texas and i'm just like eh. this is not a real opinion but it's like i wonder what impact the californians are gonna have on texas culture will it be good or bad anthony says by the time i get my ap 200 funds together i'll definitely be satisfied with my choice i dig that um that 200p has its limitations though right you have to put at least two 100 watt panels in series to meet the voltage it only has a 60 watt usb-c port that sucks oh the ac 200 max the fact that it didn't put two usb-c ports on it has me feel like mm, i'm okay i need those two i need two usb-c ports yeah i, I need that okay yeah you corrected it the new blue eddy ac man okay byron you are you copying and pasting that man i can't imagine having to type that every time you type that twice now the new <laughs> blue eddy ac 200 max blah 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 can use a 1000 watt panel huh did y'all see those 400 watt panels from ecoflow i was impressed by that I had to slow the video down because Silver Symbol was doing it so fast. But I wanted to see those panels. He had three of them dips. It's like, yo, man. I still don't. They, they're supposed to be waterproof. Um, actually, it was he had them out there in the rain. So, but I was like, four hundred watts and folding, man. That's a that's a like a. RVer, whatever people go out in the woods, that's a dream. They probably like nine hundred dollars, like literally. They probably like a, a grand for one. Monique says, "I like the EB seventy due to the size and weight." Oh, camera so jumpy. I have a deep cycle battery for the rest of my power needs for the deep freezer. I was looking at something about doing your own system and I found myself really compelled. I don't know why. I can't remember what video I was watching, but it was just like really straightforward. And I was just like, man, but you still got to mess with those wires and those fuses. And I don't want any of that. Al smoking. What's happening? They should have the heavy ones like a carry on wheels and pull out handle. Yeah, that's how the EB Delta Pro is. Van says, I tried an HQST 100 watt panel. It's much smaller than the Mighty Max. My Mighty Max poly panel puts out 98 to 102 watts at 3 p.m. in Louisiana. That is peculiar. Um, yeah, the HQST panels got a little smaller. They used to be 36 by 26, and I think they're down to like 32 by 26. So they're a little more square. I was intrigued by that, but I'm I'm kind of over square panels. I'm not into it anymore. Those energy, that, that form factor, I really like that rectangle. I find it to be really, really easy to grab. It's not as unwieldy as a square panel, but maybe the 32 by 26 is a little bit easier to handle as well. I emailed Bluetti to find out why they don't have it in Canada, and they told me it will be coming in August. Nice, said Monique. That's a, a good look. I'm sure our Canadian brothers and sisters will be Happy to have that option. Bluetti needs to make all of those expansion batteries backwards compatible with all of their units. You don't have any clothes on, buddy. You go put some shorts on. Byron says you can buy and charge the unit with one large panel. Um, the AC 200. Okay. Double R, what's happening? 15 wait wait i gotta scroll up i'm missing something did you finish the cereal box you always lose me man i wonder why there's such a disconnect between what you say and me understanding it did you finish the cereal box nice white white gold ring <laughs> thank you yeah i decided to put on my wedding ring so i guess i'm married now right rick says he's waiting on his ep500 I think it reminds me of a dialysis machine. Um, it's pretty big. I don't even know what I would use it for. Honestly, I don't. We don't have that big, that large of a power draw. We use about um, one kilowatt per hour. Come on. 
uh, on normal days. I mean, when it's hot and we're running this air conditioner, <laughs> get a lot of your junk. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what makes you do that? Just get on the camera and start smiling. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Um, get what you can, get what you can get and improvise the rest. I don't know. I'm kind of a fan of saving up to get what you want. I maybe. I feel like maybe get something around a 300 watt to 500 watt hour capacity. And once you get that, get you like a panel or two and then save up for what you really want, which is going to cost you about two grand, 1500. Um, I've been thinking a lot about people who say, you know, I want to be able to run my air conditioner in my freezer. The problem with that question is how long do you want to run it? And I would hate to tell people, yeah, go out and buy like the EB 240. And then when it only runs it for four hours, they'd be like, why did you tell me to buy that one? It's like you can't get much to run that stuff for longer than that um, unless you have solar pumping into it. But the real uh, question is, how long can you run it without solar? And it's like no matter how you do the math, you can you get like four or five hours out of an air conditioner. Um, even the smallest one is going to use 500 watts. The larger one is going to get even less time. Something is better than nothing. 35 volt to 150, right, on the AC 200 piece, so at least two 12 volt panels in series. Um, you guys in Alaska get $1,500 annually. KLP, what's happening? Those 400 watt panels are interesting. Hey, Nicole, you can get a 96, you can get a 96 watt hour Xsense power bank on Amazon that charges for in four hours for twenty dollars what now <laughs> i 96 watt hour um okay i'm gonna just have to leave that there i i feel you but those things they're just power banks right uh, that math is interesting when you start you looking at power banks um but you're right i, I guess you're right i don't know enough about it to say that you're right i i I find myself thinking about that now because I have like little um, battery whatevers and they're supposed to be like, don't give me the line. I think 72 watt hours. So if you look at the Bowdens, it's 166 watt hours and you buy two of those 72 watt hour USB-C A um, things and it costs about 40 bucks. So you're really paying for like the inverter and the MPPT charge controller. What's up, man? gonna get you more okay you're all right buddy love you watch out for your family okay i'll see you in a little bit bye. saying bye <laughs> i will buy the old ac 200p when everybody wants a new model how much what what, what will make the ac 200p appealing price wise um i guess like a when it gets down to like a stack That'd be compelling because that EB150 used to cost how much the AC200P cost. So that one's down to about $999 or $1,000. And then the 240, I think it's like 1500 now. So I guess if a 200P dropped down, that would, pretty, that would cover a lot of needs for a lot of people. So they felt secure in their um, power situation. I got a gas generator for air conditioner. 2% says I'm I'm simple with my questions. Like, do you think I can charge my phones <laughs> with the Blue Eddy 200? Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. I'll see you later. I love you too, buddy. I'll see you later. We got all the kids coming up. <laughs> I, my wife, my wife acts is acting like they they going to the pool or something. All right, guys, bye bye. bye. Love you. <laughs> um, okay, okay. So, two percent. I'm on your comment. I'm simple with my questions. Like, do you think I can charge my phones? I feel like Ben. Everything's comment kind of applies to you. Well, if you buy the EcoFlow E <laughs> and it comes, 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Well, you good now. You got your EB70 um, 2%, so you good money. I showed the old Sear. Hmm. You make videos on your channel, Byron? I'll check them out. Stuart, what's happening? Running an air conditioner where I live would need a huge battery because it's hot this time of year, 24-7. Yeah, I learned that from uh, Will, how hot it is out there. That's, yeah. Thank you, 2%. I'd say save all of our pennies until Christmas and let's see what we can afford or what new generators they put out between now and then. And we'd all win pennies in the pile makes dollars. I dig that alpha. Yeah, I know. I know you mess up with me. <laughs> trigonometry, right? You got to do that. You got to take a trigonometry course to understand all the stuff we'd be talking about. They sell in Philadelphia for $500 used. Really? The AC, which one? Byron. Well, my sister called from Fort Worth. Power is out up there too. Wow. The Walmart is closed. Traffic signals out and everything. EP500 claims a 6,000 battery, claims 6,000 battery cycles, but read the F, it says 50%. Ooh, 50% after 6,000. That's interesting. You make me want to do some math. 6,000 cycles is a lot. That's a lot. Um, 1,000 cycles, uh, if you charge and discharge it every day, is like 10 years, I believe. No, no, no. Charging and discharging every day is like three and a half years or something like that. And realistically, you're not going to do that. But I think if you charge it like a normal person, it'll last you forever. So 6,000 cycles, I that's okay. I could kind of live with that. That's that'll probably. Yeah, that battery might outlive that device. <laughs> you running in the heat. <laughs> yeah, 6000 is a lot, Angela It is a lot. Ulysses, what's happening? I want to get another panel. I have a 200 watt panel for the EB70, but cloudy days are abundant should i get a 100 watt or another 200 watt panel and run in parallel that's a good question wayne said wayne wayne be on that math man 16.5 years <laughs> that's a lot of cycles so you have the eb70 you already have a 200 watt panel i don't you couldn't add well the, the EB70 is so weird. You can't even do normal stuff with it. Like you wouldn't want to pair. So let's let's take the EB70 and its weirdness out of it. You have a 200 watt panel. Um, let's just say it runs at 20 volts and gives you 10 amps, right? That's 200 watts. And you put a 100 watt panel in parallel. That 100 watt panel is going to run at 20 volts, but it's going to give you 5.5 amps. So what happens in parallel and in series is whatever thing is variable. So the amps are the variable in parallel. So they'll match. So you'll basically bring your 200 watt panel down to being essentially a 100 watt panel. So it'll go 20 volts at 5.5 amps or whatever the 100 watt panel is. So if you want to put two panels in parallel, you got to try and match your amps. So you probably want to do two 200 watt panels. Now let's think about that for the EB70. Yeah, well, that's one thing where you would need like a watt meter, an inline watt meter, because I'm sure when it's, let's think about that for a second. When I run a 100 watt panel and it's overcast, I feel like I got about two amps. So maybe don't quote me on that, though, because I have to think back to that video. I don't know if I was doing it off. I'm pretty sure those panels were in parallel. Go check out my overcast video with the parallel cables. I'm pretty sure I was getting two amps from two 100 watt panels. I'm pretty sure. So like if you if you kind of break that down, you probably would get right up to eight amps again. 
So maybe that's a good idea to have 400 watts to 200 watts in parallel for overcast days because then it, that would give you normal power. I don't know. It depends on your situation, but yeah. Get a um get a clamp meter. My my little clamp meter, the rare one, I think it's like KAI Kawets, Kawets. Um, it's getting weird. It still works, but it's getting weird. Um, so you could try that one. It's it works for me. But then you can hook it up. You can put the clamp on your panels to see how much power you're getting on an overcast day, and then you just double it. Um, actually, uh, email me or message me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, and now when the next time when it's overcast, I'll test it and I'll tell you how many amps I get from a rich solar 200 watt panel that's rated at, uh, 9.7 amps. I'll tell you how many amps I get on an overcast day and that should help inform whether or not you should do that. Most solar systems were set up with AGM batteries, which are 500 cycles with only 50% depth of discharge. I, you know what? I thought about setting up a system as cheaply as possible just for pass-through power. I didn't need to store the power. This is how I was trying to save money on solar to get the best bang. Because again, my power is only, my, my energy only costs 14 cents per kilowatt. And back then I thought it was seven cents. So I was trying to go as cheap as possible to get solar power into my house that I could use. And then when the sun went down, it was just like, I just plugged my stuff back into the wall like a, a normal person. <laughs> um, a normal person with, with, with more money because they ain't buy all them batteries. So I was, I was entertaining that. Um, but once I got into the wires and the fuses and stuff like that, another benefit of that is I would keep an eye on it. I wouldn't just use it. I actually thought about this other situation. There are these, um, these like, kind of bootleg what are they called they're like on grid i forget what they're called they're like on grid inverters or whatever that you could plug directly into your wall which is typically illegal but i thought about doing it to see if it will work just to get power directly onto my circuit but that's a whole nother thing and you don't want to mess around with that Keldria says, is it okay to charge the lithium batteries up to 100%? I heard it's best to charge only to about 90%. That's a good question. My understanding of it, and I don't know why it is this way, but my understanding of it is, actually, I don't understand it. I don't know why it works that way. I've been trying to get some, like, some finality on this idea of what's a charge cycle. Some people say that a charge cycle is 100 to zero. Other people say that a charge cycle is using it the entire amount of the battery across whatever time it takes to deplete it. Um, so with regard to your question, lithium ion batteries, as far as I understand it, they like to live in about the 40 to 80% range and any, um, kind of range outside of that it's a little bit better but the it's best within that range so to give you an, another practical example this laptop lenovo laptops which is why i like lenovo laptops i think asus laptops do it too they have what's called a conservative mode or a conservation mode for your battery you set that on and they'll actually remind you to do that if you leave your battery plugged in up to a 100 percent over a certain amount of time They'll be like, hey, your laptop is plugged in all the time. Why don't you put it in conservative mode? And then what they do is they don't let your battery get um, charged over 60% because that's better for the health of the battery to not have to go through a full charge cycle. So, you know, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. That's why I, I want to buy a Lenovo laptop for that reason, because nobody else does that. You would think manufacturers would tell you that, right? But they don't. <laughs> Double loss has moved to Alabama. Power company will charge customers. Really interesting. If it's cloudy, another 100 watt panel would help. 
in the dude's situation above with the EB70? Interesting. Please give me an explanation. I'm curious about that. I don't see how. But it has to do with that voltage, though. So, I mean, the amperage. So, you could be right. Floodgates, EB70, 28 volt, 8 amp max. Um, don't thank him yet, Ulysses. Let that man explain himself. <laughs> Byron says you have to use more solar panels from sun angles during daytime. We normally don't get good sunlight at times. Okay. Blood gauge running panels in parallel does help with overcast and bad weather over a single panel. Yes, it does. Um, that's why I was talking about the amps because your amps are reduced. In my mind, I was thinking like, yeah, but if you add something, it's just going to increase the amps and go over. But the panels don't put out as much amperage when it's uh, the sun is lower or not as bright. So I'm going to have to test it so I could give him a, um, a good example. The question is, Ban says to Keldra, does the built in charge controller limit the upper limit and lower charge limit to protect the battery? That's a good observation because a lot of devices will automatically um, not allow you to go to the heights. I think that's how that EV500 is getting 6,000 cycles because if it only lets you use, let's say it's 6,000 watts, if it only lets you use 4,500 watts, then there are essentially 1,500 watts of that battery that you never use. Um, so if you go back to my, me talking about the what is a charge cycle, if a charge cycle is a complete depletion of the full 6,000 watts or whatever it is, then I don't know, man. I need to find a white paper on this because I want to figure this out. Just scrolling up here. At Diva, tell her to wait. They have more stuff coming out. Okay. But don't go crazy as it's not really worth that much more money for what you get. That's an excellent point, um, Blood Gaze. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, you know, use your stuff. You can have, you can develop good habits. It's good to know what the rules are, <laughs> but it's okay to break them. You know, if you don't know that it is good for your phone not to be charged past 80%. Hey, buddy. Um, then you'll charge it full every time. My uh, Pixel, I don't charge this past 80% because I want my phone to last. That's another good point about devices. If you're just going to upgrade your device, it's just like a car. If you're just going to upgrade your car every three years or your device every three years, then, you know, well, just, just rock out. Enjoy yourself. But this is a Pixel 3. I want this to last for as long as it can possibly last. And not because I'm one of those people. Um, I root my phone so they work really well. They don't perpetually slow down over time because I have a ton of apps on them where they're running out of space and all that jazz. So I, I like to keep the battery health as high as I possibly can. Now, this one is a free phone I got from um, Metro. This is a free phone I got from Metro and I just hammer it because I don't care. You know what I mean? I got it for free. It's not even rooted. It's just it's out here thugging. My sister is about to pull the trigger on the AC200P now. <laughs> I've been talking to her about solar for a few months. She's ready now. Yeah, I would wait until to see what the price is going to do because What's that? The AC200P is 1599 now, right? I mean, it could go a little cheaper. Maybe it goes on sale. Um, maybe they have a package that um, benefits her. I wouldn't just buy it with something new coming. Because she may be one of those people who feel like, I just bought it and now it's dot, 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 so on and so forth. Rhonda says, I live in Michigan. There's always an overcast. <laughs> Which panels would you recommend? Recommend for what? What device do you have? Yeah, exactly. Bloodgate said the same thing. The Yeti Home Integration Kit. I've heard of that thing, um, but when I looked, I went to look to find it. I I didn't have a whole lot of success. I may have come across it, but it, it costs a few pennies. And 
I will like a transfer switch, but the only reason why I want a transfer switch, which is something that you can use to power items in your house off of your portable power stations, is simply because I really can't get access to my fridge and running lights and stuff like that. I want that stuff to come off of solar when the sun is out. I don't really have a large load or anything to transfer to my power stations. But if I could put like my fridge and the kitchen lights and, you know, maybe my boy's room on the switch, because all they have up there is like a couple cameras um, and a lamp. You know what I mean? It's like I could run that stuff off of solar all day. Anthony says, in my opinion, I think it's wise after you get the power bank, you can afford and panels learn about the next power bank. And it need and its needs. Look for the deals in the meantime. That's right. You're welcome, Ulysses. Supposedly, Van Everything is saying supposedly it overheats the battery to charge past ninety percent and causes dendrite formations to over discharge <laughs> that time. Yeah, it's actually more work too to charge. Um, uh, a battery at that high capacity because there's not enough room to really fill it up. So the charge slows down. So in a lot of ways, it's not really worth it. Think about this. This is a, I'm glad you brought that up, Ben, everything. Think about how my EB70 has... The EB70 is a bad example because it doesn't have a percentage. But let's say you know that thing is at 80%. It's no longer... Well, that's not necessarily fair to say because I don't know what the EB70 does with its BMS. But let's take for granted that if a device, when it gets up to 80%, it starts to charge slower for that last 20%, right? It's only pulling in about 40 watts from your 100 watt panel. You might as well pull that thing off the panel and put something on it that's empty so they could dump the 75 to 80 watts into it. And that's like my thing. I like to be smart about how I use solar and stuff like that. Um, actually, I have what I've done now is my internet is up here on the second floor. Um, and I have it running perpetually off of solar power. What I do is I keep my go labs plugged into it because it's lipo. So it has a ton of cycles and I'll just charge up another power station, come up here, use my 5521 to 5521 on those two power stations. They have that port and I'll just charge my go labs with that one and leave it up here. And it lasts for a while because my modem is only using 10 watts. So 10 watts in 300, uh, 10 watts of usage into a 300 watt hour capacity battery. It lasts forever. So that's what I've been doing. And I, I find that pretty interesting. If you saw my short today, that's why I put my rock pals down in the basement in my garage because it can pull in 80 watts. I'm all about being strategic, whereas my go labs my Agwe, my Bowdens all have 5521 and none of them charge more than 60 watts. So I'll just use the Rock Pals to charge them if I need to. I really need another power station. I need like another like three more, one more. And I'll probably get one. I reached out to a couple companies about sending me something. I reached out to Rock Pals to see if they would send me like a mid-range device. Because even though I call Rock Pals janky, Rock Pals, they work. They're not trash. They're not janky in a way that they don't work. It's just like it's a budget offering in my experience. And I've only had one device, and a lot of the devices don't have pass-through charging. So hopefully they agree to send me a folding panel. That way I could compare it to this one that I'm getting from Agway. And hopefully they'll send me a power station. Because even though power, you should have pass-through charging, not everyone needs pass-through charging. Some people just want to power a bank for when the power goes out. They're not going to even hook panels into it. In that case, you don't need pass-through charging. It's, it's not really that important. I guess if you wanted to plug it into the wall and use something while it's plugged into the wall, that would be um, efficient or sufficient. But their DC works as well. So the DC can pass through, but just not the AC. It's like, eh. You get a 300 watt hour rock pals for 179. Pass through may not mean that much to you. Betty says my flash fish is at is a 200 watt and panel is 50 watt. Yeah, flash fish. I saw those when I was trying to get a power station for around 100 bucks. 
Um, but I like that Hobo Tech had talked about the next pile and he reviewed it. And I like that he had talked about the boat ends and he reviewed it. So I was picking between that next pile and the boat ends. And I was also considering the Energizer, but not really. Bob in Missouri, what's happening? Thanks for stopping by. That's probably why my phones don't last. Yeah, it is 2%. <laughs> We charge them fully every night and they sit on the charger all night. Now, the new iPhones, they, they do some stuff where they kind of like try to figure out your charging habits and charge your phone appropriately. But, you know, Apple treats everybody like they're stupid. So they want to do everything on your behalf. I just pulled myself off at 80 percent. Rick says the EP500 is rated at 5100 watt hour capacity, hence the 167 pounds. You need to look at the capacity before buying depends on your needs that's an interesting thing let's talk about that for a little bit the the idea this concept of looking at your needs and then buying appropriately is a great practice great practice but when you start to think about your money you kind of got to buy what you can afford and get something sometimes that's why i feel like you should get one introductory device and then once you learn that like somebody i think it was blood gaze maybe said once you learn that device you get familiar with it you kind of look at other stuff and you can start to shop around for other stuff and deals and stuff like that like somebody else said um because my thing was always like i want to be able to power some of my stuff off sun i just think that that's dope and then when the power goes out i have something um i, I couldn't necessarily worry about um preserving my deep freezer and my food with the type of budget that i had at the moment um and you know some a lot of people find themselves in that position it's like people ask all the time like how can i make sure my freezer a my fridge freezer can run in my air conditioner and i'm like man you gotta spend at least a grand at least And that won't even run it that long. So it's like, it's a tough balancing act. You, you, I don't know. I don't know. I really have, I really want to explore this in a video. I'll be working on that soon. I'm trying to find somebody who has like a normal, you know, freezer, fridge, maybe my um, wife's mom. And it's not in a nook like mine's is. So I could kind of just run over there, record that segment, and then talk about, you know, the stuff uh, surrounding that. Hey, Joyce. Oh, good to know about the 80 percent listening in while working. That's what's up. Metro has never given me a free phone. <laughs> That's probably because you've been a customer of Metro forever. They don't need to preserve. They don't need to keep customers. They need new ones. <laughs> it's always funny when I see people complain about that. They say, like, well, what about us? I've been a customer for 10 years. I'm just like, hey, you know, maybe you should leave. I dig it. That's a fair point. They should give you something. Kind of. But, you know, this is America. Capitalism rules the, the, the land. So you got to leave and then come back and get you a free phone by porting your phone in, your phone number in. All right. All right. All right. Learn me something. That's what's up. <laughs> I got to scroll up these comments. I was talking a lot, so I missed a lot of comments. Byron says it is a transfer switch. Betty says I bought my flash fish from eBay for less than $100 on sale. Brand new. I, I feel that. EcoFlow will have a home integration set up. That thing was sweet. I saw it in Silver Symbols. I thought that was cool. That was just a plugged in one, plugged in the other. And then that little thing sat right there. I thought that was dope. That was pretty dope. You got an extension cable running from outside on your panels. You run that right into your house, plug whatever you need to plug into it, and get it popping. Magnetic power. I haven't seen that name around, man. Thanks for coming right, coming by. EcoFlow. Okay. I'm in Las Vegas. It's pretty much always sunny, so I can use any kind of solar panels. Okay. Check out the GrowWide all-in-one systems, Will uh, and David Paz use those and they have the automatic transfer switches built in the thing about those is you still have to run the cables though and because i have a multiple story house um i have a basement first floor and second floor 
that doesn't do me a whole lot of good um because i have zones that i need to power and i can't run cables all through the house with these kids running around um but i like those things i really like those things because everything is integrated it's all in one you just hook your panels in and then the actually the new one that they show will show it's an on-grid one but it has the mc4 cables built in and i think it also has the ac cable kind of built in as well you don't have to strip an extension cord and wire it in i'm, I'm sketchy on all of that stuff Didi, what's happening? Didi says here in Vegas, I'm really trying to figure out if there's a way to go off grid with my air conditioning unit. I would love to just make that all solar. If that's even possible, I don't know. Yeah, air conditioning is possible. You just got to have enough panels and enough battery power. I see that at times when you charge batteries, it needs time to float charge it. Yeah, that is over my head. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Will probably stupid autocorrect. Autocorrect be messing us up, man. Michigander, I have the Blue Eddy AC. I have the Blue Eddy 2000 AC 200. I'm thinking about getting two 200 watt rich panels. I currently have two 100 watt Renogy panels. Yeah, that would be dope. I was talking to somebody today about the AC200P. He was asking me about, um, he bought some big sun Santan that are 24 volt panels for his 200P. So it basically came down to him running three panels in series because the voltage combined. So he went uh, 38, 38, 38, which came out to about 115. And then his uh, amps will stay the same, but his watts will equal about 750. They won't put out 750, but that was a good setup for him. But 200, you could even think about if you want to do the 24 volt panels. But I don't know. I know the higher the voltage gets something. I, I don't want to mis mislead you, so I'm just going to leave that alone. MJ says so you rock with the channel. That's what's up. 10 watts from a 300 watt what battery is 30 hours of use thank you brother <laughs> i went to public school in new orleans man you know life was tough it wasn't but the graph what's happening just got here think about a recap if you want i'd be interested we're just talking about this uh these new devices that came out and I'm reading the comments and just kind of responding. Are you going to have an affiliate link for the Agway? I do hope so. Yeah, it is an affiliate link. I, it's actually in the description of this video. Y'all tread carefully because I haven't tested it. Um, but I, I assume that most people buy these portable panels, especially the more inexpensive ones. I hope we have the expectation that they'll work for a while. But like Jason always said, they're not for you know permanent use. So if you're using those things once a week, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll last you. I still have my Anchor 15 watt folding panel. Um, I wanted to let my neighbor borrow it because uh, it's just sitting in a drawer. Um, and she likes to go out in the wilderness and stuff. But she likes to go out in the wilderness. So she doesn't want no power. She just want to go be one with nature. <laughs> I got the 200 watt Dokio folding panels and I'm loving them. That Those Dokio panels, they rub me wrong. A little bit. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel I, I just, they, they, they don't. I don't know. I don't know about those Dokio panels. Now this was years ago, at least two, but uh, I don't have nothing against them though. But I just looked at them. They felt a little flimsy. I saw the dude with the beer in the ambulance, whatever his name is. Um, he was talking about them. Happy wife. What's happening? You ever get squared away? <laughs> oh, hey, that's a good name. What's up, man? I've, like I said, that was a very good idea you had this morning. Great info. Thank you, Ulysses. I'm going to stop charging my phone to 100% all the time. Thanks for that information. Yeah, that's what's up. Happy wife says I ordered Renogy panels from the company because I got a better deal. Over two weeks passed and they still haven't shipped. I ordered from Amazon and they're coming tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. I guess something's going on in the, the world. I don't know. When Led talks about it by not talking about it, I'm always curious. But uh, it's just like, okay. 
apparently something's going on. Uh, greetings, Armand Allen. I saw that the Blue Eddy, wait, wait, wait. Byron says, I use my Patriot solar generator as pass-through for my sleep machine. Never shut it off. You Do you have Patriot uh, videos on your channel, Byron? Your name is starting to sound familiar. I feel like I saw a video with you going out. Maybe you. I don't know if it's you. I saw a video with somebody. Uh, the main thing is I remember them being black because you don't see a lot of black people <laughs> doing stuff with solar. At least 18 months ago, you didn't. Um, it was out in like a field powering your four patriots, uh, whatever they're called. Armand says, I saw that the Blue Eddy 300 doesn't have a battery built in. Oh, really? That makes sense. Thank you for that. That's that's a uh, that's a good observation. So it's like the Titan. Man, you unlocked something for me there. That's why it's priced that way. And it's combined. Interesting. So that's that's why it looks smaller. That makes sense. I'm going to have to dig into that. So what Armand is saying is that the, the Blue Eddy AC300, which is the one, if you're in the group or you saw the pictures, it's the one that is smaller, but it's sitting on top of another um, device, which is a battery. And he's saying that that top thing is not a battery. That makes sense. Wayne says, million dollar question. What is the ultimate goal you plan to achieve from solar panels and Sojins? I, I, I'm mad you made me say Sojins. I don't like that term. I don't hate it either. I don't, but Sojins, that's Hobotech's term. <laughs> Joe, what's happening? Thanks for coming in. My ultimate goal... Uh, that's a good question. My ultimate goal, really, because we don't, I, I'm, I'm not thinking about this from the preparedness standpoint, but just in everyday life, because we don't have power outages often. My ultimate goal is to be able to have solar power to run my comfort. I wanted to be able to run our entertainment. I wanted to be able to run air conditioners. I want to run my fridge off of it. Um, I don't know about like deep freeze or stuff like that. I basically want to be able to reduce my electric draw from the grid as much as possible. That is my goal with solar. Bam. Ban everything says I bought the Blue Eddy EB70 to power a five cubic for freezer, but the display was messing up and they sent me a free one. So I can now power my small 3.1 cubic foot fridge too. You got very lucky. Or you were blessed, my man. <laughs> Paula says, dang, late again. Oh, man, you know what? I wanted to share with y'all something I do when I come to a, uh, a live kind of late is I go to the beginning and then I put it on 2X. So you kind of catch up a little bit faster and you can hear everything. You can't kind of be in sync with the comments, but I be wanting to, I like doing stuff from start to finish. I don't like being in the middle. But if you join halfway through, then, you know, you have no option. What time is it? Seven o'clock. All right. Diva says, if you want to run all things, all those big power items for more than an hour or two, you're going to have to spend more than a thousand dollars, more like two thousand dollars. But I have a YouTube channel, so I may not have to spend all that money. So I feel like I love solar. I made a YouTube channel. I feel like I got the personality for it. I'll keep growing and companies will probably start to send me stuff. It's a win win. KL says, always good information at S5. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, Shevin, Siobhan, Siobhan Jones. Hi there. I am here to learn as well. Well, welcome. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you can't get them in before the live is over, put a comment on the live and I'll answer. That goes for everybody. Ban everything. So you're powering two fridges. Man, getting something for free is the best. And this is a popular spot I like to get burgers from. And when they mess my burger up, I'm not happy about it. But I usually get a free burger. Free food don't have to be at the same quality as uh, paid for food. So it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll just come get a better one later. So even though his EB70, one of them is weird, 
He's got two winning. Van says a word of advice. If you buy something on Amazon and have an issue, contact the seller, not Amazon, and you might get a bonus deal. Yeah, I dig that. Winston, what's happening? The LG 9000 BTU window AC dual converter only pulls 380 watts on load. That is a lot of, lot of words. Dual converter. Interesting. Okay. Ulysses, I can power a five. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got it. They sent you another one. Good deal, man. Betty, I love my flash fist. It holds a great charge and my 300 watt will work. 300 watts is that sweet spot. It will work. My TV fan and other products is great. I ran it for a few hours and haven't recharged it up yet, but we'll do so soon. Ulysses, you have to set the thermostat carefully. He's talking about his fridge. Winston says, OPPZ? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Stand by. I'm going to let y'all have that. Angela says, I have the portable panels because I don't have the space to keep them out. I dig that. And also due to how lightweight they are, easy for a female to handle. That's a good point. And some of them are waterproof. Um, I dig it. I, You know, I'm, I'll have some portable panels here soon. So I get to see what all the, the, the fuss is about. Bad reviews on the Dokio. Yeah, you have to kind of take it. You have to take it in stride because so if you weigh things, it's like if something costs one hundred and fifty dollars less than something else, you kind of can't expect it to be as good as the quality of something that costs one hundred and fifty dollars more like that chiffon. Um, the fact that it's not working is terrible, but it was weird. It was quirky, but I only paid like one hundred and fifty dollars for it. And it costs like 300 some odd dollars and it has a 500 watt hour capacity. They still haven't gotten back to the guy yet, which is terrible. I'm going to keep slamming them in videos just so people know not to buy it. But um, yeah, they, they suck. Bob in the ambulance. What's his channel name? Ah, nice. Bob. Yeah, that is you. Yeah, I saw you, man. I was like, oh, OK, four Patriots out in the field had his panel set up. I dug that. Good to have you, man. I'm pretty sure I saw your, your joint before um, I even had a channel. I started this channel a long time ago, but it was supposed to be a tech channel. But then I actually started it, and then it just morphed into solar. Janice, peace and blessings to you, Ask God, in the chat. Thank you. Happy Wife says, Renergy says they have plenty in stock, I asked, but they are having warehouse problems. Joe Tri says, I have the 300-watt Dokio. I need to test it more. I don't like that it is SAE rather than MC4. That's what I don't like about that Harbor Freight panel. And then um, one of the viewers said, but you can get the adapter. And it's like, well, why not just buy MC4? That's one thing I don't like about, from what I can tell, that Agwe panel, it's a 5521 adapter. So I've already made notes about things that I don't really like about it. Um, but if you have a smaller power station, it comes with adapters. You can adapt it to most of the po popular power stations, but I need MC4 because I can't use it with the EcoFlow. Um, yeah, it won't work. Uh, you can't go from. I guess you could go female, but I don't I don't know if I would get into going 5521 to 5521 to female 5521, a coupler, basically, and then. <laughs> 5521 to MC4. That seems like a lot. I don't know if I would do that. Blue Eddy 300 is only 47 pounds. With the battery, though, Winston? I'm assuming that's Josh 504. Hey, 504, that's what's up. Do you think the Blue Eddy AC300 is any good? So my original thought was I like the Blue Eddy AC300 because it looks smaller, but um dang i forgot who told me that just that quick somebody told me in this chat that it's like the titan and that the top portion is not a, a battery you have to have the battery on the bottom and then you can expand which is cool i guess um because then if your battery goes you could just buy another battery and they made those things backwards compatible to like the last three devices it'll work with the 200 max but maybe not the one for the 300 but what i'm getting at is that 
Blue Eddy will probably make those type of batteries for a long time. So you'll be able to have that AC300 for a long time. I can confirm that, but it makes sense that that AC300 is not a battery because in the literature, in the screens, it shows it being attached to a battery. So that makes sense, my neighbor. <laughs> Kimber Jack, live, maybe tick talking about the US ban imports of solar panel. Okay, he, he, he probably is um, the Blue Eddy 300 watt. I hope I answered you, Josh. The graph says there are a lot of cargo ships from China waiting to unload at Western ports. Supplies are slow to arrive. Yeah, I did see something about that. I haven't watched the video yet. It's like when people mention stuff, I can't find a whole lot of YouTube information about it. But I guess I got to just go to the news. Two goals. Be able to maintain refrigeration, lighting, comms, and entertainment when the sun launches a, okay, CME in the next couple of years. Joe believes that wholeheartedly that the sun is going to do something to mess up uh, uh, our stuff. <laughs> um, hey, I dig it. B3 Outdoors, not a familiar name. What's happening? Welcome. Sounds like Blue Eddy has good customer service. How is EcoFlow's customer service? It's It's cool. They're both fine. I haven't heard many complaints. Every now and then somebody complains, but they more so seem like an unreasonable person. Um, they're both reputable companies. They, you know, they seem to respond. Joshua says, two, to get ready for retirement <laughs> to a small, tiny house and have everything I need to be off grid. I dig that. Janice says, I'm almost ready to order the Blue Eddy EB70. I, I don't know which rich solar 200 watt panel to order. Amazon has a 12 volt and a 24 volt well you can't use the 24 volt so that's easy you got to get the 12 volt one rich solar sells it on their site and then amazon just added them recently um yeah i bought mines from rich solar because amazon didn't have them yeah you can't byron says bluetta you can't leave outside you can't leave any power station outside like that in the heat Winston says, remember, too, this year is 26 percent. Next year is 24 <laughs> percent. Maybe that tax. Where is that? Are you in the States, Winston? Or are you in uh, Canada? People have talked about uh, and by people. I mean, two bit Da Vinci and undecided would match something or another. They talked about how the Biden administration may do something as it relates to solar. Betty says, you're such a blessing to so many people. Don't stop having your live chats. Yeah, live chats are cool, but thank you, Betty. I appreciate that. I like helping people, man. I can't I can't shake it. I'm in IT, and a lot of times when I interview, I tell people, um, man, I do it for free. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of like a lighthearted moment, but I don't, I don't, I like helping people. I've always been that way. Blood gaze basically reinforces what I said. If it wasn't for China, we wouldn't have anything solar. <laughs> hey, man, you know, free is great. I'll be going away soon, and I'll let you know how my Blue Eddy works with the Renergy panels. Hey, I have Renergy panels, so I'm with you. I just hope it works out. Test it, though. Um, when you get it, charge it up. Um, deplete it, and then charge it up again fully before you do anything weird with it. Just plug it right in, charge it fully, put it on something and, and use it down and then charge it back up. I don't know if you need to do that, but I've always done that with batteries. And a lot of manufacturers tell you to do that at Happy Wife. OK, um, Blood Gaze is responding to Janice. <laughs> right, Maria Jackson, I'm thinking about that free phone. <laughs> I love getting free phones, man. I'll be out here in these streets, but I live a very unconventional cell phone life. I've had Google voice for years. Um, so that's the number that is public facing. So my service, whoever it's from, it don't even matter. So when I have service from right now, I have service from visible because you can get Verizon service through visible. If you join a party for $25 unlimited, um, and it's not may not be real unlimited, but it's a Verizon service for twenty five dollars. Verizon service has to cost like what seventy bucks. That, that's crazy. I don't like spending a lot of money on cell phone service. That's just that's crazy to me. <laughs> Wayne says he's gonna call me frugal solar. I'm frugal. I 
I'm frugal and intentional about everything. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Goal Zero uses my air conditioning video as a learning page. That's cool, man. That's what's up. Goal Zero so doggone expensive, man. Jeez. What's up, Paula? Bob in Missouri. Bob Wells shows the other people off grid cars, vans, and other stuff. Okay. Winston is saying the Blue Eddy BC200, the BC300 300 will both work on the AC200 and AC200P. That's interesting. Jeff, what's going on, Jeff? I just got the 10 Battleborn batteries and have two old ones. I want to bottom balance the two cells. I follow you. I want to bottom balance the two old ones at the 13.8 volt and the other is at 13.3. I dig it. You sound like you know what you're doing. I only know about that stuff because Solar Will talks about it. The go green deal is that they want you to have a battery for night use. The go green deal, is that something with the current administration, Byron? Do you just connect both positives and negatives? Oh, yeah, I can't help you with that, Jeff. You got to, um, I feel like there are groups on Facebook. You can check um, Will Prouse's uh, forum for something like that. I don't have that experience, man. And I'm sure you can figure it out. Just go watch a, a video or two. He talk, I'm sure Will talks about bottom balancing and top balancing uh, cells for sure. <laughs> Winston says, no, I'm in Texas, but I would not put it past Biden, folks, starting a VAT tax or imports. <laughs> Let's hope not. That's over my head. I got I got what you're saying overall. I'm telling you, I love talk, talking politics. I'm not against that at all. I'll talk about all that five stuff. Um, but we're reasonable people. I don't have time for Internet people because some of y'all be crazy, man. Do you think you will ever DIY a battery and charge controller inverter to save money? And get exactly what you want. I don't necessarily see, unless you're ordering those lifeboat batteries from like AliExpress or Alibaba, I don't see it as being that much cheaper. Um, and maybe it is now, but I see DIY as someone who wants to be able to have their parts be serviceable so that they can continue to grow their system and that they can change our components. I'm all about keeping solar easy. I don't need another hobby necessarily in terms of like tinkering and all that jazz i'm just not into that but i do like those mpp all-in-ones um i would like to at some point maybe when i get a bigger house build a system so i could have like room for my panels to just be out in the yard and stuff like that and not have to worry about houses casting shadow on them and never i i really rock with my neighbors but um i don't want to live this close to anybody ever again I don't need to be out in the woods though, but I just I need some I need some elbow room. <laughs> Sunday backyard farmer, what's going on? I'm still at the shop, just stopping by to say hey. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I like the way you put your point. I like the way you put your point. I'm from the UK. Keep it up, as you would say over there. I appreciate that sleeper. Thank you. You are such a kind man sharing your information, answering questions and spending so much time with us. I, hey, you know, I appreciate it. People have said thanks. They've sent me like some coin on um, Cash App and Venmo and all that jazz. So I, I appreciate that people appreciate it. And I appreciate those who appreciate it monetarily. But kind words are good, too. Uh, thumbs up are good. Subscribes are good, all that jazz. Paula, my EB70 will be here next week. That was trying to figure out what panels, thanks to Blood Gaze. So I want to be able to charge it to 100%. Yeah, you'll be good. Just avoid 24 vote. New name. Intentionally, <laughs> I'm intentional with everything. I may have to change my channel name <laughs> from Ask God to Frugal Solar. That gets some people, people are probably into that. That's why, uh, um, 
Will was like, Will just hit 500,000 subscribers. And I was just like, man, it's because you, one, you know what you're talking about. Two, people want to be able to not be reliant on stuff. They want to do it themselves. And, you know, freedom, America. Yeah, the batteries are expensive, Caldria. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Will has a video about top balancing and bottom balancing. Maybe he doesn't go into all of the details, but um, okay, Byron is saying Biden wants people to buy their battery. You know, I'm I'm kind of uh, afraid of, and I think I was talking about this with Wayne. Um, I'm a little bit afraid that I'm not afraid really that we're doing all of this stuff to kind of get ourselves together with solar power and a little bit of independence. And then, um, they're going to make it really feasible for everybody to have access to solar because we have to go that way. We can't keep relying on, I guess, nuclear or whatever we're relying upon now. Um, and you know, we just have to, it seems like we have to move that way. So I feel like the government is going to get behind it. Now, whether they do it well or not, I don't know. And then we'll, but at the, 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 um, saving grace is that you'll still have energy independence. So I kind of feel consoled by that because with all these electric cars that the, the, the utilities are going to find a way to get their coin, they're going to find a way. And I like the fact that I'll, no matter what, I'll have a few panels around the house where I can power stuff off of it. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm into that. But I wonder if we're jumping the gun. But, you know, just like the house housing crisis, what people, you know, outside of the nuances is like you still had a house. It might not be worth what you what it was worth before, but you still got it. You can live in it. Joe Tyson says, I, I use the AccuBattery app on my Android phone to help me keep my phone charged to 80 percent. Yes. That's what I use too. It gives me an alert and it tells me. You could tell it when to alert you. If you wanted to alert you sooner, you can tell it. It's called Accu Battery, A C C U Battery. It's on Android. It's not on um, iPhone. Um, Tim Cook and Steve Jobs want to thank for you. <laughs> okay. Susie, hi, Ask I. I'm in St. Martinville. I assume that's Louisiana. Got the Blue Eddy AC. 200p and saw Hobotech info on the 200 max. I enjoy your channel. Well, thank you, Susie. Okay, Nicole is asking somebody why is built in Wi Fi a problem? Um, yeah, I don't know. Why is that a problem? I don't like my stuff being connected to the internet because I don't like my stuff being connected to the internet. <laughs> Byron says, I bought a hybrid SUV to charge my batteries when there is not enough sunlight. I don't know what that means. You bought a hybrid SUV and at that charges your batteries? I don't follow. Explain that to me. Come on, Joe. What are you talking about, man? I'm glad you two hid that. We're going we're gonna to get <laughs> Joe's wilding. Joe tried. <laughs> Okay, waiting on getting my SSD raised. I don't know what SSD is. Brother David, what's happening? I appreciate you, boss. I'm trying out here in these streets, you know. Frugal Independence would be a good name. There you go. Ban everything. That's your name, man. Frugal Independence. That's what you need to do. Happy wife says sleepy Joe. I, I guess y'all talking about um the president. <laughs> they are pushing this top diesel in seven years. Nick Zeros. Zeros. Has anyone used the Dokio 220 folding solar wire panel? Okay. Somebody chime in. I the thing with Dokio is you just gotta make sure it doesn't have a solar charge controller on it. You don't want to buy something you have to tinker with.
Alabama charges extra state income taxes to people with hybrid electric cars to compensate for the raised gas tax. That's interesting. Joe Trot said he has to go to dinner. Don't uh, you know, don't don't talk too bad about Biden at dinner. <laughs> now, Byron, when you say your solar battery, what do you mean? You're talking about your power station? Or are you talking about just a battery? I'm trying to follow where you're going there. Okay, NDO, Nicole, because with Wi-Fi, anyone can hack your system and also a company can brick your system, kind of like Apple does with older products. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, I thought SS meant Social Security. I, did, I just, I never heard it put that way, Social Security disability. Winston, get solar while you can. World tensions are rising. Maybe like gold someday. Just my two cents. Yeah, I dig that. The blood gaze. I bought two 100 watt Mighty Max, Mighty Max panels. I'm going to tell y'all, man, panels, uh, as long as you get a decent enough deal on them, they're all fine for the most part. You know what I mean? It's like Mighty Max, New Power, HQST, HQST, Rich Solar. Renergy is one of the more expensive ones because um, I think it's because they're popular and maybe they have an American presence in some capacity. But Renergy used to they used to try and tax for those panels. They used to be like 113 or 120 um, compared to HQST, which has been like 80. That's why I have HQST panels. Oh, OK, I, I got you. Reba, wow, my first time on your channel, and I get the live experience. Leah Farmer speaks highly of you and thought I would come through. Keep doing what you do. Well, thank you. Thank you. Kevin says, what dollar per watt do you consider a great deal on a Sojin? Anything below, like, anything getting close to, like, 50 cents. Um, that's a great deal. <laughs> a great deal. A good deal is, you know, around going up to like 60 cents or so. Um, Nicole says the Ecofo app connects via Wi-Fi, but it never connects to my Internet for whatever reason. So the Ecofo, I had problems and I'm an IT guy. I have problems connected that thing. So it, it seems like it's two stages. You can connect to the Ecoflow via wi-fi directly but you're not you're no longer on internet or whatever you just have a connection to the device and then what you have to do is once you connect to it directly you have to go and add a wireless network to it and once you add that wireless network to the ecoflow then it's on wireless all the time which i'm not a fan of because they make you create an email account i'm pretty sure ecoflow is tracking your usage now whether or not they actually do it i don't know but it's like you sign in with an email address. You have an app. Your app has an ID and all that jazz. Um, I connected mine to the Internet just to update the firmware to turn the fan off. That may have been a mistake. <laughs> uh, the reason why it may have been a mistake is because the device runs a little hotter. But I talked to some people in the group and they were like, well, 95 degrees Celsius is not really hot in the tech world, like too hot. Um, I guess when you, and I have a Raspberry Pi, when it hits 80, 90, some odd degrees Celsius, um, it starts to warn me and I'll pull the low case cover off so it can cool off. So, you know. The solar panels made in America cost $800 and $1,200 new. It's such a compelling thing, man. Um, how, how much, how costly that four Patriot stuff is. I don't, I don't, they, man, they don't get me to talking about them. Y'all, I caught up on the comments. I'm out here in these streets winning. So for the new people, Kevin Link says, I agree on the Ecofo app, but you can't get certain settings without it. Yeah. I use the Ecoflow app 
to connect to my device. I added it to Wi-Fi once or twice to update the firmware. And then I went into my router and I took its internet access off um, because I couldn't quite figure out how to remove my Wi-Fi from it. So another thing I was going to do is I was going to use my phone and I was going to create a temp hotspot and then tether it to the device. And then that would be the device that it was added to. And then I would just change my phone's hotspot back to whatever it normally is. So the EcoFlow would just kind of live out there in obscurity looking for this hotspot that no longer exists. But there should be somebody told me there is a way you can remove it from the Wi-Fi. But I just I don't know how to do it. And I don't care. I turned it off in my router and I just kept moving with life. Rich Solar has a great shipping turnaround, great panels and fast shipping. I got mine within a week. That's shipping from CA to Florida. Yeah, it took me a while to get my it didn't take me a long time to get my Rich Solar, but it took it took me a while. They were also back ordered. The panel that I got is perpetually in a state of back order the whole time I was looking at it. When Hobotech had a coupon on it, that's partly why I didn't pull the trigger because it said back ordered. Like I didn't feel pressed. And then the day that it was supposed to be available, which I think was like June 25th, um, they pulled the coupon. So somebody, when I asked about it, somebody said like, yeah, even though it says back order, you can still order it <laughs> and they'll ship it out as they get it. And I found that to be kind of true. But, you know. <laughs> I hate those lights. He's working hard. All right. Did you answer my question about how to disconnect? I didn't see your question about that. How to disconnect the MC4 connectors easily. Um, I have a short about that on my channel. It's a recent one too. But Renogy has a tool that works pretty good. You should check those out and use my affiliate link if you feel so um, inclined. <laughs> My understanding, Gary, is that the Blue Eddy app is Wi-Fi. I would much rather Bluetooth, but don't quote me on that. I don't know about the security of Bluetooth. I just know that Bluetooth Bluetooth is short range. So I prefer that over Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is it's global. I seriously think about getting a computer and never connecting it to the Internet, other than to get updates, maybe. But I'm I'm getting into like an offline kind of space. I sometimes turn take my computer off of Wi-Fi when I'm not using Wi-Fi. Um, I'll take it off. I don't do it a whole lot. I'm not like wilding, but I'm mindful of it. Um, yeah, I wish routers, and I wish this for a long time. I wish routers you could turn off their Wi-Fi with a switch. Instead, back in New Orleans when I had like a cable modem the standby button turned the whole router off. I thought that was so stupid. It's like, let me turn my Wi-Fi off when I'm not home and then my wired devices could still work. Why do I need Wi-Fi anyway? Alpha, listen, I just watched a video about that Wi-Fi map stuff. That stuff is crazy. And you know what's deep about the Wi-Fi map stuff? is I thought it's like technology is so useful, but then you give it five to seven to 10 years and it's just like, it's out of control. The same thing is gonna happen with them, them uh, what are they called? The Amazon Echoes, them cameras and all that stuff. It's, it's wild, man. You think it's so convenient until you look and you see wild. That stuff is wild. Diva says, oh, my God, it's so hard to disconnect MC4 connectors. <laughs> Check out that Renogy MC4 tool. I have a short on my video. It has an affiliate link in there if you want to use that to support your boy. But if you want to go straight to Amazon and type in Renogy MC4 tool, you know, go for it. Um, yeah. Um, it, but it's useful, though. Ha Kevin says, be careful with that quiet charge in the EcoFlow. It limits solar input, too. I discovered that, and I don't use it, um, but I think it's fine. It preserves the life of your battery by charging it a little slower. I don't care about that stuff, but it's good to know it. You know what I mean? You, you, it's good to know you can slow it down. Um, he's talking about the EcoFlow app has a quiet charge mode. The reason why they had a quiet charge mode is because the fan was so loud. Um, the fans sound like an old school computer when it was um as soon as you turn the ac off 
they updated the firmware so that the fan is supposed to turn off when the temperature gets high. I don't know what that temperature threshold is. The MC, the needle nose pliers work, but I use it recently. I even got a video about that. I didn't show me doing it because I can't film hands free. But um, they they put the teeth put an indentation in my MC4 things, and I felt like I don't know how much I can um, how long those things will last if I keep using uh, needle nose pliers. So I got the Bouge RV MC4 tool. Doesn't fit anything I have. So I ordered the Renergy ones. Renergy ones are solid. Byron says the products that people are waiting for from overseas, Biden, Biden tax is legal now. You will see more things increase. Interesting. Hey, you know, everybody gets four years, eight years if they get reelected. It's, it's the tail of the tape. <laughs> That's the tail of the tape. What does that mean, Winston? Anybody have any questions? If we have any beginners, you have questions about um, solar panels. The wife is pulling up. I've been on here for a good bit. So we're going to wrap it up soon. Bloodgate say he spoke to EcoFlow and they let me know for an off-grid setup connected to 24-7. They say 85% state of charge is a sweet spot on my River Pro. I dig that. Um, ban everything says I have $100 to spend any ideas, preppers. Uh, I'm going to stay away from that one. Y'all got that. I ain't no prepper. I'm, I'm like prepper adjacent adjacent. So, uh, yeah. You still doing videos, ban everything? Like, what, what's going on, man? 2%. You've been in the cut. What you doing over there? What happens if they track your use? What do you mean, Bright Day Capital? If they do a good job, they will get eight years. If not, they will get four. Yeah, that, you know, it's interesting. If they do a good job and... <laughs> it's all peculiar. First time visitor will be back. That's what's up, old head. Not a thing. Just listening. I dig it. NX93, what number do you have to watch out for solar panels for the EV70 to ensure you don't ruin it? You just cannot put panels in series. You can put two panels in parallel. You can't put any more than you can put in more than two panels in parallel, but it's a waste because the eight amp limit and well, not at Ulysses has asked the question. It's not a waste on overcast days. But on sunny days, anything more than two panels is a waste of power. Does that make sense? Because I can explain it to the best of my ability. We are accustomed to everyday low price from China. Real price is about to hit us. I've been waiting for that to happen for years. I may have even made a post or two somewhere about like, man, what if you couldn't get that stuff for cheap? <laughs> we have to come to terms with that. I've also been waiting for things to swing local again. I feel like that's a much better system, man. We got all centralized and it's the same strip mall everywhere. It's like, nah, we need to start being more communal in our reliance upon each other. Local is important. Politics is local. Business is local. There should be. That's how your boy I feels. <laughs> you froze up over there. Can you still hear me? You know how I feel about that 2%. As long as you can hear me, we good money. Just looking at what panel to buy because the SP200 is super expensive. NX, there, Jason Noy has videos about a bunch of portable solar panels. I like rigid panels. Agwe has sent me is going to send me a portable folding solar panel in a second. He likes rock pals and to to go power or something like that. Boulder, Boulder and to go power are kind of like the same thing. Um, the Agwe 120 watt panel may get you about 80 watts, maybe 75. And it's on sale for like 150 right now. There's a link in the description of this video. 
it is an affiliate link you buy at your own risk because i haven't tested it yet full watt hours as advertised well you lose some efficiency through the ac um you also can lose some efficiency through the dc if it's regulated because for something to maintain power along that little uh, curve to keep it up it has to like pull some of the power to keep it up i don't understand how that works but that's the best way it makes sense to me um and then also the bms or the battery management system doesn't allow you to go down to the bottom 10 percent for the safety of the battery i don't know why that is but i'm no engineer but that's my understanding so you lose 15 percent due to ac you lose probably a little bit of the percentage using dc because of those ports being regulated or whatever and then you lose power because the bms doesn't let you go all the way to zero going down to zero is, is you know bad for the phone phone the device Susie, i do have a paypal account i was just thinking about doing a paypal.me today um nice asus router has a wi-fi on and off switch that's what's up you could also if you bought a router you could disable a wi-fi in your modem that has the wireless built in and then you could control your actual wi-fi router with like a little switch or something you could just unplug it so you could kind of manage it but thanks for sharing that yeah yeah you're fine you can be up here i'm about to be done now and then we'll go downstairs and hang out Wait. Mm -hmm. all right all right then everything says it's chronic pain i might make a video about that yeah you got to focus your channel or not but youtube is weird about various topics they can be weird byron says that it is happening now try to buy a hybrid i want an ev um but i don't have the money for it and none of them are worth the money that's what i say all the time <laughs> i say i want to be able to afford an ev and i want it to be worth the cost <laughs> Because Tesla, um, nah, I, I like Tesla, but, or Tesla, um, but they be having like uniformity issues. I'm not spending all that money. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm too, um, yeah. Gary says the AC 300 is very compelling. Okay. My understanding just from somebody who commented is that the AC 300 is like the Titan and that the top part is not a battery. The bottom part is, which I don't know if I still like it then. Reba says, I returned the clamshell panels to, from Harbor Freight. I dig that. What is a good solar panel for the GoPower Plus? Led said the HQST 50 watt panel works with the GoPower Plus, which I don't, I can't confirm that, but that GoPower Plus on its port says 15 volts. Most panels kind of put out about 18 to 16 volts depending i actually just learned something that the controller the solar controller drops the voltage down even lower so that it charges the battery so i thought that was peculiar but lead has the go power plus and the 50 watt hqst panel works according to him with the go power plus boom klp i want to go bigger before the prices are too steep that's an interesting thing. It's an interesting game to play. Hey, Jojo. Okay. We need more made in the USA products. America built to last. Eh. Okay. Okay, Daddy. I'm, I'm doing this, guys. Let me finish up. I'll be done in a second. All right. All right. Do you know of any good all-in-one solar systems around 5,000 watts? I don't. Check out Will Prowse's channel. He likes those MPP systems and GrowWatt systems. Happy wife. I have cooking pans. I use over a hundred years and I use them. Believe me, I'm not that old. I dig it. Back to Susie. I do have a PayPal account, but I need to set up the PayPal.me. And I also need to set up Zelle. <laughs> yeah. This is a great show. Uh, thank you. You're one of my favorite shows, man. I appreciate that. Okay, before I go, you guys tell me in the live chat 
What do you appreciate about my channel and these lives? I, I kind of have an idea, but I want to know what you guys think because I want to try and um, not intentionally stay true to that. But it's good to know, you know? I feel you, Diva. They are not cheap. Doesn't look like ass G's. <laughs> now, J A J A. Why do you put J A instead of H A? We gonna. I'm gonna figure this out. Double R. <laughs> He's such a handsome young man. Thank you. E V isn't cost effective yet. I don't know if I agree with that, Kevin. I mean, it costs a lot of money, just like solar and all that jazz. But you get it longer, you have less problems. EV for Chevy having problems now. Interesting. That thing that was like 20 grand. Um, Scotty, the car dude, was saying that he's holding his, he's reserving his whatever for that um, that Ford, uh, that little Ford truck, whatever it is. It's too small for me, man. I'm 6'1". I was curious about it, though. 20 grand for um, a hybrid, I believe. Volvo will have. I also can't find uh, uh, EVs that my wife likes. She doesn't like the look of them, and I agree with her. But I'll be asking her like, "What do you think about that one? Could you see me driving that?" And she'd be like, "Babe, no." She's. I told her. Uh, <laughs> I was like, "I just got to get the Ford uh, truck, the electric truck." She was like, "Boom, there you go." That that. I don't know how I feel about that EV charging port. It looks rinky that you have to put it into a plug and then plug that into the EcoFlow Pro. It feels like shaky. I I, I want I'm not sold on the the quality of that. That I don't I just don't feel secure about how that thing plugs in there. All right, I'm gonna read these last comments, but I'm gonna kill alive. Cause I got to get out of here. <laughs> Appreciate you guys um, hanging out. Your time is uh, valuable. I value it. This is why I try to get to the point in all my videos. But um, until next time, uh, I think about doing this once a week. The next one, I think I want to talk about like just solar strategies and things like that. Just to be smart with your stuff. Um, or I may make a video about it because I can't find a video about it. All right. So I'll, I'll...